SWIFT GPI, the global payments innovation, has been a huge success. Over the past year, the proportion of SWIFT payments via GPI has doubled from 30% of all cross-border traffic to 60%, while the value transferred on a daily basis has tripled. It's been adopted by all the global transaction banks, and now it's being taken up by medium and smaller sized banks. And joining us now to look at what's next for GPI are Fabian De Pass, head of GPI customer success at Swift, Vugar Sadiq, CEO advisor at Capital Bank, who helped ensure GPI adaptation across all the banks in Azerbaijan, and Kristen Hanlon, business systems analyst three from UMB Bank, which has been involved in a GPI pilot on universal confirmations. Welcome all to Cybos TV. Okay, so Fabian, if I can start with you first. Bring us up to speed on how SWIFT GPI has been received because the figures I referred to at the beginning are pretty good. Absolutely. The, it's been a very big success. Indeed, we are now at 60% of the um, cross-border payments. But as well, when we look at uh, the value transferred, we are now at $300 billion transferred over the service every single day. Uh, over last year, it amounted to more than $40 trillion being transferred. And we've already gone over that this year. Um, when we look at mostly the, the geographical coverage, we're talking about um, 1,500 country corridors and more than 600 banks all over the service. So we're very happy indeed with the take-up and how the, the service ramped up in only two years and a half. Two and Why a half do you years? think it's been so successful? Well, for me, the, the key was that the community really came together with this. It's not a swift initiative, it's really the community who was essential to this success. And the underlying need, I think, is GPI enables the bank to provide a superior customer experience and a digital first customer experience. Um, in terms of superior customer experience, if we look, for example, at the speed of payments, uh, before GPI, it was common to hear customers complain that uh, cross-border payments would take a, a day or two, sometimes a week even. 96% of the payment going over GPI are credited to the end beneficiary account within 24 hours. So it's really, for the end customer, mm. a huge improvement in terms of the speed. It's also more trackable and a lot more transparent for the customer. And Bugar of Capital Bank Azerbaijan, from your perspective, you went live with GPI in October last year, I Gosh. believe, and you've been a pretty enthusiastic user of the service. So what's the value that you're getting from the system? We were enthusiastic and still enthusiastic. Again, thank you for the, for the SWIFT team. Uh, these uh, uh, services provided, again, just referring to what Fabian was just saying, that it uh, helped us, to assist us to solve uh, problems, issues that we face with uh, our customers. Mm. The complaints all around the world will be the same. You know, where is my money? You know, how much is it going to cost? Before, we couldn't ask, and we always said, like, you know, let's see what, what's going to happen. And again, it depends on the middle banks in the, the system of the corresponding banking business. But now, with the SWIFT GPI, it's fast. It's really fast. I can confirm. It's really fast. Plus, you can trace. On top of it, you can actually uh, track, and you know there's how much it's going to cost for the bank, for the customers, and you can come up with a transparent way of the working with the customers. Mm -hmm. so that's the, this is the, the value that is brought to us the first place. That's why we're enthusiastic. Vugo, you were instrumental in the adoption of GPI countrywide mm -hmm. in Azerbaijan. Uh, this includes all types of banks, from large to medium sized to small. Uh, what drove your approach to the, to the countrywide adoption? So, uh, Capital Bank ha has been uh, leading the uh, SWIFT users uh, com group community group uh, in Azerbaijan since 2017. So um, it, it coincided by the time when uh, Capital Bank was transforming digitally within Azerbaijan. So we thought this is, um, on one hand, it's a good opportunity for us to present uh, this idea. At the same time, it coincided with the other bigger issue that uh, Azerbaijan faced, the community face, is the corresponding banking de-risking issue. So we found that by uh, connecting through this system, Swiss GPI, we can remove some pain points from the tr cross-border transactions. So th this is the main value for the, those, the, uh, the banks. Again, smaller, mid-sized, the big bank, 
we are the largest bank, one of the private owned bank in Azerbaijan. So even for us, I mean, for everyone, it was so much value. And I, I'm sure the, uh, we'll have more now cases, mm. you know. And also, it, uh, we're also proud of we could um, show, demonstrate this also for the regional banks that are active in our region. So we were also the helping to put them uh, to do the pilot tests. Okay, so for you it's been a really positive experience, yeah. but how difficult has it been generally getting other banks on board? Yeah, that's the challenge, and um, we, each bank has its own IT infrastructure. Each bank has its own IT strategy, objectives, goals. You know, and to uh, kind of consolidate this and to bring this and make this less painful, you need to have really good approach. So um, that's natural, again, but when you see these benefits, the banks, they try, they're finding, again, uh, the means to solve these issues. And again, when you act as a community, it's much easier and it's more um, kind of, you can predict the next steps, you know, what could be done together. And uh, I think that's, that's the, one of the important things. And the other thing is uh, the, our uh, regulator also, it, it very much of support of these initiatives. So, and that helps them to overcome these obstacles. Fabian, how is SWIFT welcoming and, and supporting these country initiatives? Well, we, with open arms, of course, because as a cooperative, SWIFT firmly believes that there are issues in the industry that we can solve way more efficiently if we are all solving them together. And, and of course, if we can help a whole country uh, solve problems both from a cross-border point of view, but also sometimes from domestic point of view, uh, it's all the better. And, and GPI is really has been made with that in mind. Uh, so more than welcome. <laughs> Louis, you, you've got about three and a half thousand financial institutions signing up for this, including some of the major banks. But what is your ambition when it comes to global adoption, and what would you define as the next step, the next milestone, effectively, on that road to adoption? Well, in terms of ambition, I, I won't be happy unless we are at 100 percent, basically. Um, the, the next big milestone, of course, is to extend the benefits that we see in tracking and confirming payments to every single financial institution on SWIFT. So as of November this year, we actually are going to roll out a basic tracker, which is available free of charge for any SWIFT financial institution to be able to track their payments and confirm them. Speaking of basic tracker, you recently piloted uh, the scheme. And Kristen, UMB Bank uh, is a typical smaller US bank with fewer cross-border payment needs. Uh, how did you hear about GPI and why did you participate in the recent trial? Well, the GPI initiative was announced by SWIFT um, globally so that all institutions were familiar with it. And upon research of um, the SWIFT website and, and speaking with SWIFT representatives, we learned more about um, the ISO 2022 initiative, but I also wanted to know more about the basic tracker. Um, it was a pro the word mandate came across um, it, it for 2020, and with all the other projects internal and external to the bank, we thought that maybe this was something that um, our line of business and analysts would really want, and it was something that we could, uh, a project that we could tick off pretty easily and getting ahead of it and getting the tracker established um, in 2019 rather than waiting for 2020. And how do you think that GPI is going to benefit both your bank and, of course, the customers? Oh, the, well, the wire analysts to start um, for the bank, uh, it'll save them a lot of time because the cross-border inquiries of people either had, we sent out an outbound cross-border payment, if somebody wants to know, it requires lots of phone calls. And we have to be mindful of the time zone difference when the banks are open. And the accuracy of the information um, could change. And we don't have any insight with a manual you know, phone call. And so our wire analysts should save them time, which in turn will allow them to serve our customers um, with real accurate information and quickly. Fabian, basic tracker is a, a manual tracker of cross-border payments. Will there be other options for financial institutions that don't sign up for GPI right away uh, to confirm credit? Absolutely. So as we are making uh, the confirmation of credit to the end beneficiary account mandatory by 2020, we are also coming up with a, an array of options to be able to confirm the payments. Uh, so the manual tracker, as you mentioned, but as well uh, automated channels. So every single financial institutions will be able to confirm their payments through MT199, 
Uh, ISO 2022, already a year in advance of the migration, so it allows the bank to really phase their investment and start testing ISO 2022 as of 2020 with the basic tracker confirmation. Uh, an API channel as well, of course. And we are also putting tools together like the batch confirmation, which is going to make uh, confirming payments as easy as an end-of-day statement for a bank. So we're really looking at making that as easy as possible for our community, because we do believe that confirmations are an essential part and have a lot of value in terms of, to your point, uh, reducing the uh, exception and investigation cost. Mm -hmm. And we really want to make this as easy as possible for all the banks. And Avugar, from, from your perspective, why is it important that all banks, at a minimum, confirm credit? Today, it's, it's a matter of the habits. In terms of the customers now used to, you know, buy online and they used to track this, whatever happens, and they want to know if you have a shipment online, it's accepted by someone at your door. So, and uh, it is especially, it is very important for the corporate customers. They want to know the funding already at the account, already at the account of the beneficiary, so they can take another step. So, as you, uh, you said correctly, you know, the, it is, uh, you, you, by that, you, you, you decrease the cost of the, um, um, investigation, you know, and on top of it, I also think m maybe it's indirectly, but it also increases the trust within the system, mm. you know, so you don't have to worry because you can s easily see it and then see whenever it is and then whenever it gets on the account. So that's simple. Kristen, having participated in the basic tracker pilot, what's next for you? What's next? We've made the Connectivity, we worked with InfraSecurity and got the connection to the tracker established, and we'll open it up to our line of business and for um, a wire analyst. Um, we are waiting on our vendor to supply the code. We're going through the automated 199 route, so they will deliver the code to send the automated confirmation for us. And then I think we're um, done, and we'll get into the testing mode with the, with the robot, and then just pick a, pick a time that's uh, to go live with it. Exciting times ahead for you then. Yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Fabian, finally, I mean, look, you've done really well because you've got, what, nearly 60% of all SWIFT commercial payments being sent via GPI. You want 100% ideally, but <laughs> you're getting there, you're on the way. <laughs> but look, what is the final message that you can send out to our Cyboss audience? Because they're interested in what you're doing, they want to know more. Well, uh, I would say, follow the examples of my peers here. <laughs> and by 2020, make sure that you're ready to confirm all your payments to the tracker, because that's really an essential foundation on which we can then build. And as was alluded to uh, yesterday and announced, we are going to make those payments not being credited to the end beneficiary in minutes, but in seconds in the future. It's we what are customers working expect as well. Exactly. And, and we're working with the community towards that goal. So in order to achieve that goal, we need to have the foundations right and all confirm the payments by 2020. Okay, well, we wish there. you all the very best <laughs> of the next <laughs> steps. We also hope you enjoy Cybos for its remaining few days here in London. Uh, Fabian, uh, Vuga, and Kristen, thank you very much for joining us on Cybos. Thank you for having us. Have a great Cybos week as well. Ooh.